So a little bit of a bonus video that's going to be a little bit lower effort, but I really want to talk about the I'm Alex situation again, and it's really because it's been a long time coming, as I said in my previous video. The whole situation that's going on right now in terms of this drama with I'm Alex being outed as an abuser, allegedly, is that, well, people have been wanting something like this to happen to him for a long time, whether it be false accusations or even real ones. What everybody wanted to see since 2019 Slazo is that everybody wanted to see I'm Alex get his just dessert. They wanted the Slazo situation to come back and bite him full force and have something similar or worse happen to him. And that's actually what we're seeing right now. Following this alleged case of abuse, what's happening is that I'm Alex doesn't have anybody backing him. No supporters. Everybody is turning on him. Every single friend he could possibly have, including people who used to work with him, such as his talent agency, dropped him. Like literally, his talent agency dropped him and so did his friend. Nobody wants to be associated with this individual. And the reason why is because this whole allegation case, it's very hard to look at the evidence, to look at the people coming out against him, to look at the people corroborating the information at hand. It's very hard to look at all of this and say, yeah, there's a possibility that Alex is possibly innocent because nobody wants that to be the case at all. In fact, people who have bothered to look into the information at hand, whether it be documents or all of the evidence or the video recording, they've pretty much made up their mind and concluded that Alex is guilty, an opinion that by by all means, I personally hold. In most cases, I wouldn't be the type to be so conclusive, at least not as quick as I am right now, but in this case, it's so hard not to be, considering you have a lot of Alex's friends coming out against him, and previous collaborators, including Alex's girlfriend, who had also perpetuated the false allegation campaign against Slazo. And that's really what we're going to be talking about today. The insane irony that is I'm Alex getting these incredibly damning allegations shot his way when I'm Alex once upon a time falsely accused an individual of sexual assault. Not just that, but all of these people that he collaborated and colluded with in that situation in the past coming back out against him. So right now, I have to begin with probably one of the funniest possible outcomes that we could have received from all of this, and that's the original allegations coming back to bite Alex in the ass in full force. So the way that this happened is that this individual, Annie, as it shows on her Twitter, had actually falsely accused Slazo in the past of being a supposed sexual abuser. Clearly, we know that that wasn't the case, thank God to Slazo for being capable of proving his innocence five years ago, but now, instead of her trying to double down against Slazo again for like the billionth time, she had actually came out against Alex in her own document, which I find to be incredibly hilarious, not to mention the amount of memes that came from all of this. I'm gonna fucking bash your fucking head against the wall with a brick if you don't shut the fuck up. Because this one, genuinely, this one, this one, you are- So let's take a look at what she has to say. She starts the document by saying, My experience with I'm Alex. Though we never confirmed it to the public because I personally like keeping my relationships private, I dated Alex from June 2017 till March 2018. It was the most toxic relationship I've ever been in, and I was lucky to get out of it when I did. So right off the bat, even though she's not that credible and we should really be taking what she's saying with a grain of salt due to the false allegations she had done in the past, she's already corroborating the fact that Alex is in fact a very toxic individual as seen in Alice's initial document. When we were dating though, he was from England and I lived in America, we were pretty much never apart for longer than a week. We stayed in Europe for a couple of months and then went to America for six months. He couldn't stay six months straight due to the visa implications, so he stayed three months, flew back to England for a few days, then came back to America for another three months. So already, this also corroborates something that Alice had said in her initial statement, which is that Alex is incredibly clingy and cannot fathom being away from the person that they're interested in for longer than a couple of days, as we see. I mean, to fly to America back and forth like that must require some extreme amounts of dedication. I mean, let's be real here. The amount of money that that'll cost, the amount of pollution that you're doing. I mean, it's not easy to do that over and over again, but clearly he had some motives behind it. So, I mean, let's just leave it at that. I don't want to insinuate anything how much of an incentive is money Ooh. huge for a lot of youtubers massive i know I, 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 I literally do not care i mean anyone who knows of alex would say hmm that's interesting because his twitter feed is just filled to the brim with merchandise plugging and just pushing his latest merch not care even his header for his twitter is his merchandise wait but if you don't care about money why are you making merchandise? Example, we'll mention Ollie White and his Ollie merch. I look at that and I'm just like, bro, try a bit harder. I mean, you can't look at your fucking But that's why jump. I made this. <laughs> you, know, you know that's why I made this? 
No, I'm not joking. That's why I made this. That doesn't matter whether you made it because of that or not. You're still it's making ironic. fucking money off of that. It started out great, as they always do, the honeymoon phase, as they call it. But as time went on, things just got worse and worse. I was fortunate to get out when I did, but reading all the new information that's come out, he's clearly gotten worse. I mean, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Almost as if Alice said the exact same thing. So in this case, we got more examples of corroborating. During the relationship, he made me feel insane, like I wasn't myself anymore. It never felt like he listened to me. I always felt belittled and inferior. When Whenever we recorded videos together, he would constantly talk over me and never let me have my moment. I know I'm gonna be cutting in a lot, but honestly, I, I have to say again, that's pretty funny considering the fact that we see evidence of this happening and being the case from Alice herself, including in some of I'm Alex's own videos. Like, uh, do you ever look at me and go, God, he's so pretty, he looks like me. Mm. What do you say then? I look like Gremlin. I look like a Gremlin. Alright, thank you. Yes, but you'll probably, you'll probably have to speak up to the, because the camera won't, like, because it... Alex is a gremlin! Okay, you don't need to do that. You don't need to tell the whole world. Do you want anything else you want to say? <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> You're great to make content with. Um, I... Most of the time when I had problems, he always somehow made it about himself or talked about his own issues. He would get stressed over his YouTube channel constantly and complain about uploading, as if it was the hardest job on the planet and no one had it any harder than him. His classic line was, I can't catch a fucking break. You know what this really reminds me of? Again, when Alice had showed us videos of him complaining about how he was professional and everybody else isn't. Like, massive issues there. And you think you can you think you can just fucking ignore them because like well, what's the worst that can happen? Um, I don't know. Uh, your boyfriend's a fucking famous internet celebrity and doesn't trust these people because he has to keep his circle small. Because you might not have anything to fucking lose because your life might be down the fucking drain. But I still have quite a lot that I would like to fucking give. Uh, you're making it incredibly fucking hard for me. Just like Lewis did. I fucking hate all of you. You guys are fucking like, like, I can't make any videos of Paul Breach. If we ever had a disagreement, you would also sometimes allude to the possibility of killing himself over minor conflicts as a threat. So I couldn't continue with the conversation. It was nearly impossible to give him any kind of criticism because it was like adding to the pile of minor issues that he had already blown far out of proportion in his head. I don't want to touch too much on that, honestly, because it seems very personal. Even it being I'm Alex, I don't want to talk about somebody's personal uh, issues like that but i will say is that this is very manipulative and disgusting behavior and anybody who's had to experience somebody like this you know exactly what i mean by that another thing he did was spin his own narrative and twist words he didn't just do this in the relationship but he did it in his work and with his friends it was the main reason why many people stopped talking to him because we started to realize that when there was even the smallest amount of drama and he heard about it he would make sure to involve himself even if the subject had absolutely nothing to do with him and he would just make everything so much worse now, this is something that I really want to focus on, even though the individual that's writing this isn't really a credible source because of the false accusations she had let on in the past, I just want to say what we're all thinking. This seems extremely in character for I'm Alex, especially judging by the way that he conducts himself in YouTube videos, judging by the way that he grandstands and puts himself in a lot of drama on the internet as well, and as well as the way that he handled the Slazer situation. Not just that, but when we cross compare what she's saying right here with what a lot of we've seen from a lot of his friends and we're gonna get into that later, it all just falls into place so perfectly. Like, yeah, this is exactly the type of person I'm Alex is, especially when you consider everything that we've seen. During our relationship, I bought him and I matching Alex and Annie bracelets for Valentine's Day because I was like, oh, neat, a company with both our names. You can see him pressing the heart on the bracelet to his lips in his Back to Nothing video, which he has since taken down from his channel. And this video was released as a response to me breaking up with him. He uploaded this video after I stopped talking to him as a way of trying to guilt me into replying to him. He did to me what he has done in his relationship with Alice, where he would fly off the handle and get mad, then act all apologetic and said to try to get me to feel sorry for him and forgive everything he had said and done. So again, we get more corroboration there, but let's just focus on the ending here. Lastly, the only time he ever laid a finger on me was when he grabbed me as I was trying to run away from a conflict. We were trying to record a YouTube video together, and he was getting frustrated at having to restart the recording multiple times. He started shouting and beating his fist on the table, even going as far as to break his microphone. I was scared, so I got up to leave the room, which is when he grabbed my arm to physically stop me. I remember saying, you grabbed my arm, several times in shock as if to say, who the 
the fuck would ever grab someone like that? Once again, I was fortunate that that was the only time something like that ever happened. I got out before it got even worse, as it clearly has with the new information that's come out. I'm gonna start sounding like a broken record, but again, we have more corroboration here. In another case, Alice had shown a video in her document where she had mentioned that Alex had kicked her, and out of fear, she started leaving only for Alex to start following her around. Oh, what? I don't understand. It's like, and then you look like a fucking miserable fucking little cunt all the time. So, we see a lot of repeating instances in this case, and again, that's if this document is even true in the first place. She ends this document by saying, It saddens me that it's all come this far. I wished Alice the best privately, and it breaks my heart to have seen all the things she had gone through. I hope Alice's and my story show you what he was really like behind the scenes. If you're in an abusive relationship, please get out now. You can't fix them. What she's saying is very true, but the credibility in everything else really just isn't there. She has doubled down on false accusations in the past on behalf of somebody else. Who's to say that what she's doing right now is really authentic or to be believed? What if she's just doing this for attention, seeing as this is in the spotlight of drama and now we're all going to be talking about it? I mean, either way, I don't really have a reason to believe this individual, but what I will say is that if this actually did happen, then it just goes to show that Alex has always been a terrible individual, even though he's pretended to to be this goody two-shoes for the longest time. Although, take that with a grain of salt, feel free to disagree with me or come to your own conclusions. At the end of the day, a lot of this information is just alleged. Which brings me to the next part of this video, which is going over how a lot of his friends and previous workers and people who collaborated with him have thrown him under the bus and completely denounced him. So, more recently, we have this statement from Will and E. I believe that's how you say his name. It says, Re Alex. Firstly, I really hope Alice is doing well and commend her massively for having the courage to get that out there. As Mia mentioned, there were rumors of this behavior earlier last year. Myself and a few others haven't had contact with him since or been his friend for even longer. With that being said, the severity of the abuse that Alice published was far worse than anything I'd heard being discussed. That Google Drive is fucking abhorrent and what he put her through is inexcusable. Then we have Will and E's ex-girlfriend, Mia, who had made this statement. Re, I'm Alex. This is something I've been aware of since May last year, and is something that, in my opinion, is well known throughout the industry. I can't speak for people who aren't in our group or who I don't see regularly, but the openness at which this was discussed amongst people last year, I genuinely find it hard to believe that creators close to Alex had no idea this was going on. When I found out, Alex and I were signed to the same talent agency. I immediately made them aware of the accusations and put pressure on them to drop him, which which they did. This was June 2023. From the documents in the drive, it looks like things escalated even further from what I was aware of emotional abuse, threats of violence, use of racial slurs, which is so heartbreaking. I don't know Alice personally, but sending her so much love and support. While this is alleged, I find this to be pretty interesting and also pretty believable considering the way we saw Alex behave in the document that Alice released, where he became acting more and more belligerent and also like less professional as time went on, despite how much he likes to say that he is professional. Could his increasingly negative behavior have been a result of them dropping him from his talent agency? Probably. I honestly choose to believe that that's the case, but even then, that should not be an excuse for Alex to lash out like a fucking belligerent moron. Then then we start getting into the more personal ones. For those of you who don't know, Mimulus is an individual who is also a commentary YouTuber on the scene who has been here for quite a long time now, who has done several projects with I'm Alex and has been featured in several videos as well. They were also part of a group known as the E-Boys where they all made videos together. And this is something that he had to say. Just to follow up, Alex and I lived together between 2018 and 2022. They started dating in 2023. I've only seen him in person two or three times since moving out. I don't socialize much at all in the typical UK YouTube circles, especially in the last couple of years. I only found out about the situation in general on April 2nd of this year when a fellow content creator brought it up to me in a call when I suggested a joint recording between us and him. He said he didn't know any specifics or what was even being alleged, just that it was bad. All I had heard prior to this is that they argued frequently. A couple of weeks later, Alice started posting TikToks alluding to the situation. It wasn't until just after 
after that I got a bit more clarity when I was out for dinner with another creator, and they brought up the fact Alice had briefly published some text messages from him on TikTok before deleting them. I knew it was bad, but I didn't know just how bad it was until I went over all the information when it was made public. I don't want to take attention away from the victim, but I think it's important I clarify my perspective and timeline of events. Please send your support to Alice. So as we can see, Alex is getting the exact same treatment that his friends gave Slazo back in the Slazo situation. Not just that, but these motherfuckers knew, and now they're covering their own ass. They're trying to disconnect themselves away from the situation like they did with Slazo, except in this case, it's genuinely something to be concerned for. It's genuinely something that we should all look at and be like, yeah, okay, we really need to have more awareness of how these people behind, behind, behave behind the scenes. And then we have this response by iNabber. Me and Alex had a very toxic friendship. I would prefer to keep that private for the most part, but with all these clips, recordings, messages in the document, I read them for the first time this week too, and that makes me feel more sick. The fact I got zero honesty and even in the end, whole thing is just awful. And again, nothing but my support goes out to Alice. I think what makes me feel really disturbed is being genuinely worried about him as a friend between December and March of this, yeah, I noticed he was upset a lot more when we played games or discussed YouTube and calls, and I and others in the group tried being there as a mate, even asking him what was up, quite a lot, never got an answer, so instead we just played games and hoped things would get better for him. Just a mate supporting another mate who was going through it mentally, just so fucked up knowing why he was actually upset. At this point in time, with all of these responses and with what everybody has had to say about I'm Alex, it appears that Alex is definitely in a hole that he can't find himself out of, especially if everything is true, which to me seems to be more likely than anything to be the case. And I have to reinforce my stance on all of this and my bias because there are still people out there denying the possibility that Alex could have potentially done anything like this. They're all still assuming that there's a possibility that Alex could be innocent, which I doubt, but that's neither here nor there. Anyways, with all of that being said, I really just wanted to make this video to sort of compare this situation with what happened to Slazo and how a lot of the individuals that are coming out against Alex right now are people who supported Alex in his false allegation claims in the past, which I find to be incredibly ironic and I find it to be karma doing its deed and we see everything going around as it does. You know, like I said in my previous video. What goes around comes around, and what appears to be the case is that Alex is getting everything he deserves coming his way. Uh, that's really all I got. I really want to end this video by saying that everybody should go read Alice's statement and make their own conclusions or show support if need be. Uh, me personally, I'm not going to stick my nose too much into this. This is probably going to be the last video I make on this subject because uh, I feel like there was a lot of information that needed to be covered. But regardless of that, if there is any more stuff, I'll probably talk about it. But for the most part, I don't really want to talk about people's personal lives like this too much. So I have a bigger video, a better video coming out very soon that I've been working very hard on and I'm pretty sure you guys are all gonna enjoy that anyways that's besides the point um again read the document that's all I got later